Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Wednesday, the 29th of April. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather featuring showers and storms this evening. Thankfully, they're all under severe limits. Weather looking quiet through the weekend and warm weather will be in here by Saturday and Sunday. Check it out. There's the upper air look. A pretty impressive trough coming in. Some pretty good dynamic support here for showers and storms. But thankfully, the air is relatively stable. There's the visible satellite view. Clouds cover much of the state. A few thin spots up in northwest Alabama. And that's the radar. A big old MCS, a dying MCS coming through the northern gulf. And that really helped to block the inflow, keeping the air stable. So we've got bands of showers and storms over the northern part of the state, north of Interstate 20. But again, they are below severe limits, and we can celebrate that. Temperatures only in the 60s in spots. Uh, Haleyville, 66. Coleman, 67. You'd want to see at least 70s for uh, a good low-level air mass for severe weather. Birmingham at 72. Flash flood watches for parts of the Middle Atlantic Coast region. Wind advisory around Memphis, parts of the Mid-South, also parts of the breadbasket. But generally speaking, pretty quiet for now. SPC continues to back off on the severe weather chance, just a marginal risk over the southeastern states. That's basically over the eastern half of Alabama. And again, for all practical purposes, the chance of any organized severe weather is pretty much done for the day. Tomorrow, a couple of marginal risks to the east and over Idaho in some of the adjacent states up in the northwest. And day three, which is Friday, no severe storms are expected across the country. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Heaviest rain northeast of Alabama. Rain amounts eh, an inch, inch and a half of the north, and I don't think we're going to get that much. A lot of that was going to be today. Lighter amounts down to the south, and after today will be dry through Sunday. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS, the 12Z run, ballot tomorrow at 4. Big trough over the east. A departing storm. Uh, the sky becoming partly sunny. Now, when you wake up early in the morning, it might be cloudy, but we'll expect clearing. Now, if you are in the northeastern part of the state, from Anniston up to Gadsden, Fort Payne, Collinsville, uh, you might stay in clouds much of the day. Where the clouds linger, you'll be in the 60s. Where the sun breaks out, we'll probably see low 70s. Friday, a beautiful day. We start the day around 50, the high in the upper 70s. Nothing but sunshine. Saturday, a warm day. Highs getting up in the 80s, low to mid 80s, lots of sun. And Sunday, we'll call it partly sunny with mid 80s, a summer preview. Now, early next week, uh, this run showing showers over the far northern part of the state. We've seen other runs with showers deeper into Alabama. So we'll mention a chance of a few showers Monday and really the same thing Tuesday. This run has the showers north of here. We'll mention a few showers Tuesday one way or the other. Rain amounts probably not that heavy. And a week from today, Wednesday the 6th, troughing to the north, and that surface boundary pushes on down to the south near the Gulf Coast. But the good news, we don't expect any severe weather next week. Let's go out 10 days, Saturday, May 9th, troughing over the east. Very cool air mass. And you see that blue in there, that's snow in mid-May for the mountains of Virginia and North Carolina, if that verifies. Holy moly. All right, uh, this is the rain for Birmingham from the GFS Ensemble. The mean only about an inch for the next 15 days. The pattern really shifting to a drier one here. Temperatures, we warm up big time with mid-80s in here Sunday through early next week. But then they start to drop off. And again, look at all the blue on this map. This is May 6th through May 12th, showing temperatures below average over much of the eastern half of the United States. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. AS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.